Many people see me today and wonder how I am alive. One thing I can say is that God has been preserving me. My name is Dijon Walker, and this is my story. I was born October 1st, 1998 in Chicago, Illinois, where I don't remember too much life in Chicago, but I do remember when I was six years old, unfortunately, my father was murdered on Christmas Eve, and that's when we moved here in Valparaiso. When we moved to Valpo from Chicago, uh, on a, I remember on a Saturday afternoon, two ladies, Mrs. Edwards and Mrs. Hawkins, came and knocked on our door uh, and invited us out to church on Sunday. And the next morning, I woke up like, like catching the school bus and rode the Sunday school bus and came to church and to hear about God. When I moved here in Valpo, I rode the Sunday school bus and I was riding for the bus for a few years. And then in fourth grade in Mr. Jancy's class, he was preaching about salvation and what God has done for us. And that's when I realized I was a sinner and I'm, I'm subject to hell. And I, I knew I needed to be saved that day because tomorrow wasn't guaranteed. So that's when I, that Sunday, is when I got saved. So when I was 12 years old, that's when I started developing symptoms of what, what doctors thought was pneumonia. And I was in Indianapolis at Riley's. I was diagnosed with pulmonary lymphangiectasia. It's a respiratory condition that fills your lungs in. And that's when I had to stay down there for six months and one week. And on and on, I thought I would not make it because I died a couple times at, at Riley's and they, to God be the glory, God preserved me and wanted me to on this earth for a reason. And that's when the Edwards kept coming down, using their own resources to come see me and there everybody here from Fairhaven or praying nonstop for me and when I got when I came home after in March people from here visited me from home because I couldn't I was pretty much bedridden and they and that's when I was weak, I was weak and And people just kept praying for me, and as I was getting better and healthier, when I started coming to church again, every time I turned around, somebody I did not know said, we are praying for you. We are praying for you. You're always in our prayers. And I didn't know these people from a lick of a dime. Like, wow, there are people who do care. Many people wonder why I'm still alive today. I can say f to you that, yes, I've been through many struggles in my life, both spiritually and physically, but you don't have to live through that your whole life. Honestly, I don't know why. I probably shouldn't be here, but God has given me a second chance, and He can do the same for you if you just put your faith and trust in Him and believe on Him. My name is Dijon Walker, and this is my story.